Today I'm doing the Blubber Houses Moor Challenge Walk. It's organised by the Nidderdale Long Distance Walkers Association group. Right, off to registration now. Well, we're just getting the uh, pre-walk briefing now. Right, and off we go. Well, for this uh, challenge walk, we have a, a downhill start, which probably means it's going to be an uphill finish. Look how still and peaceful the water is. What a absolutely lovely morning we've got. Well, I've just done over two and a half kilometres and I'm now crossing Houston Embankment. Well, at the end of the embankment, there's a self clip which I've just done. Well, the route is to follow the edge of the reservoir all the way around, I think, to a car park at the other end. I've just clocked four miles and I've crossed the road at the top of the reservoir. Well, this path I'm on now is part of the uh, Six Dales Trail. Well, that must be the dam of Thrust Cross Reservoir, and I think it can't be too far off. Uh, checkpoint 2. You know, you're at the top of the dam now. I'm just leaving uh, Checkpoint 1, having had something to drink and uh, a small bite to eat. Well, the next checkpoint is uh, Rocking Hall and uh, we're going to have to start to uh, gain some height. Well, I don't know whether that's Rocking Hall on the horizon. I can hear lap wings and uh, yes. fantastic scenery. Well, indeed, that must be Rocking Hall on the horizon and I can see a steady climb up to it. I've just clocked eight miles and I've been going one hour 36. So we're now approaching checkpoint three at Rocking Hall. Uh, that was a quick checkpoint in and out. You've no drink there, just a piece of homemade fruit cake. And uh, I've just clocked up nine miles as I'm leaving the checkpoint. Right, that's, uh, that's 10 miles done. And uh, now we've got a nice downhill stretch, I think it should take me down towards Bolton Abbey on the River Wharf. Well, I can see Bolton Abbey in the distance. Here we are at Bolton Abbey on the, uh, on the River Wharf. That's uh, 12 miles done. A fantastic view of Bolton Abbey. Bolton Abbey we have a, another soft clip. Right, that's 13 miles done. It's about 10 past 11 and we're at uh, checkpoint 5 at Banks Farm near Storris. I think that could be uh, Beamsley Beacon ahead and uh, we'll be heading there after the next checkpoint. Deer Storm's a quarter of a mile. Right, it's half past 11 and this is uh, checkpoint 6 and we've done 23 kilometres. We now have a climb ahead up towards Beamsley Beacon. This is quite a, quite a long pull up from the last checkpoint. 15 miles, I've been going um, well, three and a quarter hours. I think I can see the top ahead, but it's uh, it's way off yet. This climb just seems to go on and on. Well, finally arrived, Beams the Beacon. It's really nice and dry over there. That's a trick point here. And a uh, fantastic view. We now have a stretch across Blubber Houses Moor as we head back. I've clocked 16 miles now and it's just turned midday.
I hope this doesn't look promising. It looks to be a bit uh, buggy here. I've just clocked 18 miles and it's just over four hours and this section is quite um, quite bleak. It's been quite boggy underfoot as well. Well this is quite a substantial cairn and I think this is Lippersley Pike. I'm approaching checkpoint 7, Adela Car Park and what have I done? 30, 31 and 3 quarter kilometres I've done 21 miles and it's, uh, it's 20 past 1 and um, uh, my legs are tired now Well this is Timble, it's a pretty little village I assume that's the early warning system Probably need that now. Well, I've just clocked 22 miles and it's taken me five hours. So I must have a, a mile between a mile and two miles to go now. And we're back on the reservoir embankment that I came across this morning. I've just clocked 23 miles and it's not quite um, quarter to two. So Still got a bit to do i've got to go back up the hill as well well this is the hill i came down this morning it's certainly going to be a lot harder going up than what it was coming down right it's uh, two o'clock and i'm back